Thanks for receiving me, and I'm here to share a passion for medicine and healthcare that can use scientific principles and the latest of technology, but can also have the human face to reach those areas of the human being that are not so easily accessed by our standard treatment modalities. And um, I want to take you back 30 years ago, me as a young doctor in nursing home. I was uh, very strong and able working, uh, diagnosing the pneumonias, you know, <laughs> and giving the, uh, the antibiotics. And uh, I felt at the same time a failure at the patients sitting there with dementia in nursing homes. They were sunk down the hanging head syndrome, I call them later. And it made a strong impression on me, seeing just regular songs with a regular singer in the song circle. They could sing regular Norwegian uh, songs like da 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 And these hanging heads suddenly, whoop. I've, uh, I've seen that many times later on. Um, people sitting there completely in a coma almost. And if you can get the right song, uh, the precise song, it goes in and it can waken people. I was singing uh, um, in uh, one nursing home, 10 nursing home residents, they were sitting there. And I started, do, 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 do. And um, these people from Bergen, uh, they were uh, not one head, but 10 heads. They were, do, do, da, 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 da. They just immediately had this reaction that I saw 30 years ago. And how, that, how can that happen? Uh, what is the physiological basis that um, interested me more and more, especially since I saw some of the really uh, advanced dementia cases, how they uh, would really uh, not be able to walk almost. They were just walking like this. And when they found the right rhythm, waltz rhythm, um, that could get into the rhythm. I especially saw one resident who was barely able to walk, and when the right rhythm came, she was just waltzing around. <laughs> Not a little bit better at walking, but back in the old function. And how could it be? I was uh, trying to understand this, and in the early 90s, I came across uh, the research of Professor uh, Michael Tout, where he showed that the right rhythm would reach this activation area in the brainstem, the survival area in the brainstem, uh, that makes the soldiers walk in rhythm when they're tired, when they can't uh, uh, eat or drink. You get this rhythm. Uh, that's the inner warrior, you can say. And this is a sound principle. And I was able to reproduce his findings with Parkinson patients that uh, they are freezing and you get the right rhythm. Dum, 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 dum. And they start walking and almost perfectly. And uh, I was able to take this um, activity into nursing homes uh, and make what turned out to become a PhD where we were able to uh, make methods out of this. One of the breakthroughs I had was with um, a, a resident with dementia who had agitation. Because I think that um, on one hand, music, if it's workable, it should be able to address the symptoms. And agitation is the worst symptom in dementia care. And on the other hand, it should also be able to reach those human needs that we may call well-being, quality of life, reaching the inner being. And this uh, person was almost tearing down the ward. He was completely uh, confused. Not because uh, he was a bad person, but he has dementia. And this um, instance we have of drawing the world together, making the world understandable, our cognitive uh, skills are lost. And he is completely confused. And um, I was trying to um, see what could be done, because the drugs kept him down a bit, but then he was uh, tearing down uh, the ward at night instead. So we had a problem. And um, he came from a um, 
a valley up in Norwegian mountains, and there he had learned to play fiddle, and he had uh, uh, loved dance music. And when we put this dance music on, suddenly his confused eyes, he, it was like a complete change coming in. I could get contact with him, and he even asked me to dance. So, <laughs> sorry to say I'm not very good at this kind of folk dance from the mountains, but I tried my best. <laughs> So, uh, and we tried uh, then to create a method, individualized music, which has also um, already been tried out uh, in the States. And we, uh, through this PhD process, uh, were able to make this a consistent method. And I have this joy of sharing with you that uh, we have been able to uh, find uh, and develop th this method where uh, we uh, play music for uh, the individual and see which music really strikes home. It can be music uh, that um, addresses uh, the good memories or the deeper personality where you come from. Uh, and um, when you play this music, uh, we can see consistently, not only with this one person, where we got the agitation rate down from almost 12 hours a day until two hours a day, just by putting on music that was compatible with him. Uh, we've shown it to be a consistent method. We found out when to apply it, how much, what is the dosage, and uh, we can even apply it to different areas uh, in our country. And I also got interested in this special agitation coming up when you're washing, bathing people with dementia. Because that's a very vulnerable situation. Imagine yourself, someone coming up suddenly tearing off your clothes. Now we're going to wash you. <laughs> and um, we devised then a um, um, way of using songs. Uh, well-known familiar songs that strikes this rhythm and recognition. Uh, we saw first one person who became violent when we tried to wash him. W we found out that he was a grandfather and he loved some of the old songs and we were singing, <laughs> and instead of the violence, he was uh, cooperating. And now we came to something exciting, because we saw that when we showed him how to wash while singing, he would reproduce these washing movements. Have you heard about mirror neurons? Fascinating research um, that um, first has been discovered in monkeys. But if you see someone um, doing a movement, you, it gets a response in your brain, and this can be utilized in dementia care. We really show them while singing. And then the skill is uh, reintroduced. They have lost their ability to wash. And when you sing these familiar songs, they actually get the skills back. And um, the um, interesting thing is that these methods uh, can be applied in one nursing home, and, and we can generalize it to other nursing homes. Like in Nordtrendelag, uh, we now have a project where we teach from uh, commune, from municipality to municipality, and uh, people can teach and learn uh, these skills without being musicians. We need music therapists and skilled musicians as well, but we can introduce this is an e in an easy way. We can use CDs, iPod, whatever, and we can use singing. We need both. And in this way, we can help the brain organize itself because we appeal to musical memories uh, that are stored um, in um, areas of the brain that are not so affected by dementia. So we can both help the motor function, the gait, uh, the movement, so that they are not uh, so easily stuck in the chair, the wheelchair, and we can even use these principles to help mobilize. We use uh, uh, like these songs to get people up, uh, like uh, a song, and when you come to cuckoo, <laughs> then you get... <laughs> then Yeah, because as a doctor, I had uh, all these um, people go on sick leave because they tried to get the nur nursing home residents up, you know, ah, oh, I'm sick. Uh, and now you can go on. 
Da, 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 da. Cuckoo. <laughs> and then, and then uh, uh, you get a... Yeah, voila. It's so simple. And um, uh, we, are, uh, we are now uh, doing research to, uh, to solidify our knowledge. Because this has to do with dementia is really... Um, uh, a scourge for the future. Some areas of the world, uh, there's expected a uh, quadrupling of the rates of dementia. And there is a task for the future to have these clean, simple methods that can aid function and also ensure dignity. Because that is one of the main aims of being human, to give ourselves and, other dig and others dignity. And it is my hope that medicine can really advance also in this field. And I thank you very much for giving me attention on this subject that means so much to me. Thank you very much.